welcome back to my channel so in today's video as you can see in the picture here we are going to make a spicy and yummy micro fish so if you want to learn how to make this recipe stick around and watch the video and see how I made this yummy micro fish here are the ingredients we need for this recipe I have one large tomato I'm just going to take the seed out of the tomato because I don't need the seed I'm also going to use bell pepper one large onion some micro fish olive oil scotch bonnet thyme ginger garlic maggi cubes and salt to taste these are all the ingredients that I'm going to use for this recipe and I'm also going to list everything and I will leave it in the description box so check it out so if this is your first time in my channel you're welcome to this channel feel free to watch the video and also if you like what you see please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and you can as well subscribe for my old subscribers thank you for always stopping by so now I'm also going to use some sunflower oil but you can use any oil of your choice here are the micro fish is well clean so I'm just going to marinate the fish so guys you don't need to add too much ingredient too much spices into this fish because micro fish has its own taste I'm just going to use salt ginger and black pepper in that way you still have the real natural taste of the fish so I'm going to marinate it with all these ingredients now then I will leave it for about 10 minutes to marinate very well so that all the ingredients will penetrate into the fish in that way you have a nice taste of the fish I'm just going to rub everything very very well then I will set it aside Here are the veggies. I'm just going to wash them and chop them into a little pieces so that they can fit in into my food processor. So guys, remember to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet subscribed guys please before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel in that way you will always see my yummy videos that i always post all the time so i'm just going to slice all the ingredients together before i blend them i'm just going to use this food processor because i don't want the and the veggies to be too smooth that is why I'm using this one so for now I just want to cook it until the water will get dry I'm just adding salt I'm adding ginger and I'm just going to stay together very very well and I'll cover it I will allow it to cook until the water dry up So as you can see the water has dried up and I'm just heating my oil that I'm going to use for the fish. I'm going to set this, this one aside. So now as you can see the oil is well hot now so you need, you need to heat the oil very well so that you can fry your fish very very well.
so now the fish is well fried i'm just going to take it out of the oil then i'll put it in my kitchen napkin so that it would help me to take some of the oil away out of the fish because you know frying fish frying things i don't normally like it but i like this fish when it's fried so here in my frying pan i have i have some olive oil here i'm just going to add some salt then i'll add the the bell pepper the one that i cooked before so i'm just going to fry everything together I'm just going to add the black pepper I decide to add nutmeg because I like that flavor of the nutmeg so if you want you can also add it as well too so Maggi cubes so I'm just going to stir it very well and I'll leave it to cook for about five minutes So it's, it's time for me now to add the fish. So you just have to stay gently. So now I'm just going to add the parsley. And I'll give it a nice stir so that everything will mix together very well. so guys we've come to the end of this video i want to say a very big thank you to you all guys that have been watching my videos that have been leaving a good comment thank you so much and if you are new here before you leave please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that we can be one big families we can share our ideas together so for my old subscribers thank you thank you so much i don't really know how to say thank you but from my heart thank you so much for all you guys have been doing for me so you can use this recipe to eat potatoes ripe plantain yam you can use it to eat rice as well you can even decide to eat it like that so at this point i'm going to leave you guys and I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.